Hey guys, this is Jeremy Comp Channel. We're in the process of doing a broken alliance between the Necrons, the Tron Templars, and a Crude Mercenary Force. Um, we went ahead and rolled to see. This is final deployment. Let's do a quick scan of everything. There's two. No. Red. Red is no. And the board back there. And this is just insane. I, I've got to turn the no. light on here. So you guys can see. Yeah. It, this is a 1500 point battle, and the Necron player decided to bring three monoliths. Yeah, pretty brutal. Anyways, what's even what's even worse is the fact that uh, the Tron Templars went first, and you have to roll a four, five, or six in order to move turn one. Yet none of them even know that the alliance is broken. None of them. None of them. Let me repeat that one more time. None of them. And the Necron player goes, Dale. You're going to actually be able to move a couple. Yeah. Um, that succeeded. This one and that one. So your two monoliths and your commander oh, succeeded, but nothing else? That's right. Okay. So, uh, looks like the uh, crew are going to have potentially quite a bit to actually do, but uh, for right now, for turn one and all the way until the end of turn two, the uh, Tron Templars are going to be standing tall and doing nothing. Fantastic. Here's the, here's the other thing. Um, for this 1,500-point uh, list, I drafted this great army list, an army builder, and uh, didn't remember to bring it. No. So I'm using an old army list that uh, is not geared at all to fight the Necrons since I don't have any strength 9 weapons whatsoever. Brought to you by Solid Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these are the new Necrons that Dale purchased off Solid Smurf. Blue Squad. Tron Templars did nothing. The uh, Necrons did nothing except run the commander back. The crew uh, chased after the commander because the other squad that they had deployed did not realize the alliance had been broken. Same with the other one up in the hill. So this has been an incredibly fast first round. Maybe in total three minutes? Maybe? Four? Long oh. enough for you to go over there and get our food and come back. <laughs> there you go. We're going to have a roll off now between Dale and Russell. And we'll come back to you at the end of round two. Three. The crew brought in basically all the reserves. One infiltrating from the side, taking on some Black Templar or some Tron Templars, and uh, did pretty good whittling down the one squad that was up front. The other two squads, we have to turn the light back on, infiltrated behind effectively the monoliths, uh, attempted to do some damage to the back Necron squad. Unfortunately, because of the will be back roll, only one actually ended up dying. That's the squad, and it has a lord with them. Six. Yes. These guys then came in. Oh! And, uh... I'm going first. Now we have three uh, monoliths back here, and they're just sitting back chilling at this point. Um, but the crew get to go, so uh, now they're going to be able to get everyone into close combat. And the uh, Tron Templar has actually brought in this assault squad uh, and took out the three melt gun crew that were up on the hill and now we're starting round four and it's the crew go this is the fastest game of broken alliance i've ever seen in my entire life dale what are we clocking now going into round four um we're at a little over an hour <laughs> <laughs> this no, is wait, it. we're an hour and a half we're an hour and a half but that's still in russell's been uh conserving his crew in comparison to the last game on this channel this would be very interesting back here on to round four.